Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 inside Ubuntu using Oracle's VirtualBox. First we need to install VirtualBox which you can just uh, download from the website or install it via the terminal. You'll also need Windows 10 ISO which you can download from Microsoft website. I have already downloaded it on the desktop you can see. So we installed VirtualBox, we go click on new, just name it anything you want, I'll name it Windows 10 testing, go to next, uh, try to lock it at least 2 to 3 GB depending upon your RAM size, create a new virtual hard disk, your NVDI format. And I would prefer dynamically allocated because it won't take all of your the allocated space at the same time. And then recommended is 32 GB. So let's go with that. Okay, we have something here. Now the important stuff here is to go into the settings in the storage. And here we will be adding our downloaded Windows 10 ISO as an optical drive so just add a new optical drive and point it to the Windows 10 ISO very well okay and remove any empty optical drive if you can see here like this one just remove it okay now we are ready so we have the Windows 10 ISO and this one will the win the virtual box will actually boot into the live session which means you will have to install Windows 10 and if you have experience with it you know that it's it takes quite some time uh, I have forwarded the the video at several places because otherwise it will take over like 25 minutes so just the regular stuff if you have a valid license key you can enter it I won't do that at this moment uh, I'll go with the Windows 10 home edition of course accept the license terms and here go with the custom installation you have the 32 GB of hard disk and this one will take several minutes but the video is forwarded so let's just forward it you can see in the timing that it takes like around one to two minutes or even more it depends so we have it here install uh, the problem here is that it will try to boot into the live session again see it's booted into live session again so what we have to do here is turn it off and then we go to the settings and the storage again and we will remove the windows 10 optical storage so we remove that so now it will boot into the virtual disk which 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 we already installed the windows 10 like few seconds back so we are putting into windows 10 installation for the first time and of course it will take several minutes i just forwarded all the videos here all all of it takes like seven eight minutes something like that anyways now you have to sign into it uh, I'm not gonna use the Microsoft account so I'll go with the offline one you can of course use the Microsoft account if you have one and there it, you'll have to set a password username let's go with its boss password whichever you want
just go with the flow okay add a hint for your password well 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 why not something as simple as this all right that was the humor part actually anyways it will ask for cortana and everything associated with it you can choose to accept it or you can just disable all of them it's really up to you for this tutorial i'm going to accept all of it because i'm not going to use it anyways so we have everything set up again and this will take again several minutes okay let's start we almost there so windows 10 we boot into it everything seems good uh, the one problem with uh, the virtual machine is the resolution you, you won't get the full screen resolution in the default uh, installation uh, the good thing about it here is that you don't have to do anything special to get connected to the internet it will automatically create the bridge and normally you should be able to use internet or right uh, right uh, after the installation nothing is required here so as you can see it's first.com is opening here the regular windows stuff so we have successfully installed windows 10 inside linux using a virtual machine you can turn it off now there are two ways to do that either from here or from the windows 10 installation or from the setting page here just power off save state will it's kind of hibernation the next time you will open it will open from the same place same state again okay let's verify that our installation is working fine i'll start the windows 10 vm again okay looks good so it's installed thanks for watching the video i hope that this helped you to install windows 10 inside any linux uh, operating system using oracle virtual box do subscribe to its force youtube channel and give a thumbs up to this video stay tuned for more linux tutorials bye bye